What's going on everybody? Jonathan Rohina here and welcome back to the Passion Belt YouTube channel. It has been some time, a little over a year in fact, since I have posted to the channel and guys, I am so sorry. Uh, I've just been going through life, big changes have been made, uh, work, etc. But either way, I'm trying to get back to doing YouTube again. I genuinely enjoy doing this and uh, I want to get back to it and continue making videos for you guys and uh, also it helps out my business. So. Um, without being said, let's talk about where I've been, what I plan on doing, and where the future of this channel is going. So, um, as many of you guys know, I own and operate a business called MotopartSource.com, your online source for high quality used parts for your first and second generation Suzuki SV650 and SV1000. Also, various GSXR models as well. So, uh, that's still happening, and I still do have parts, as you can see. We have inventory shelves here, plenty of parts in stock, so if you guys need anything, MotopartSource.com. Now, if you guys notice something, we're no longer in the shop. We are actually in my personal garage. That being said, um, this year, me and my girlfriend, we bought our first home. And it's about 30 minutes away from the old shop, which really not too far, but the old shop, one, was getting kind of expensive. They raised the price on me about three different times last year. And on top of that, 30 minutes away may not seem very far, but sometimes I would get an order, whether it be for like $30 or $100, didn't matter. I would go 30 minutes to the shop, pick up that order, bring it home, pack it, and then I'd get another order, have to drive all the way back to Sanford, more gas, more time, just to pick up and pack another order. It started getting, it started being more of a headache than what it was actually worth. So with that being said, we ended up uh, packing up the shop, calling it quits at the shop, and moving everything home. More on the shop in a little bit because we've got some pretty big plans for a future shop. We're not gonna be in this little garage forever. But I mean, honestly, this garage isn't really too small. It seems pretty small because we literally cramped my 20 by 30 shop in this 20 by 20 garage. And uh, as you can see, we still have the black Miata that most of you guys have seen on the Roads to Rehab series. Uh, since the last time I made a video about this, I believe it was for the Mazda Speed Seat install. Uh, we actually got an OEM hardtop for it and we got some Koenig Hypergrams. And uh, that's pretty much the only mods we've done to it and just been enjoying this car for what it is. Now, as you can see, we still have the Turbo Miata parked outside. Still have my SV650, still have the CRF and my son's dirt bikes. And we have another Miata. Now this one right here uh, is gonna be a new car to the channel as well on the Roads to Rehab series. Uh, this right here is a 92 C package from factory. Um, this car, it needs a lot. This thing was sitting in some old man's backyard for years. As you can see, the top completely gone. So sitting in someone's backyard with a tarp over it, it did not do anything good for this interior as you can see now, i wish i would have taken photos of this for you guys it was absolutely disgusting so i'm going to be going through restoring this entire car cool thing is it's a complete untouched drivetrain um no rust where it matters like the rocker panels or anything so a very nice car and definitely um has a good future ahead of it i'm glad i got this car uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to be keeping it or if i'll be selling it but anyway um like i said a lot of things have changed. We're no longer in the shop. So moving forward, you're going to be seeing a lot more videos coming out of my garage, which kind of sucks because it's hot as hell in here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm sweating bullets right now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot more videos in here. Uh, this is basically my workshop for the time being. And uh, I don't know. I, I know it's not as aesthetically pleasing as the shop was, but we have some pretty big plans for that. So. Let me take you out back and let's talk about that. Alrighty, so we are in my backyard right now. And the uh, cool thing about my backyard is that it's pretty spacious back here. But the one thing that I really needed for the house that we were going to buy was a place with some property. Now, property values right now are through the roof. It's pretty much just like you just got to sell your firstborn and uh, sell your soul to the devil to basically buy a property with any any acreage. So um, I wasn't fortunate enough to get a full acre of property, but I was able to get enough and I measured it before we bought this place 
enough to be able to replicate the old shop and a little bit more. So uh, before we were in a 20 by 30 and now I'm trying to build a 25 by 35 and I'm gonna be putting it right here. So as you can see over here, this is basically my side lot over here. And uh, when I first moved in here, all of this area right here was woods. It was just woods all over. And this little pit right here was the only thing that was available. Uh, as you can see, the elevation is completely different than what is up here. And um, I'm gonna put some photos on screen right now of the woods that was here before. Uh, all of the woods that was here, I had this company by the name of Rygrade. Uh, it's a family local owned uh, and operated business. So if you're in the Central Florida area, I highly recommend them, Rygrade. Definitely great guy. Um, he had all of this cleared out in about two hours for me. And uh, basically I just had it mulch. I didn't have it cleared because clearing, that's a whole different story. And uh, we could basically, we could pack dirt on top of this and we're not gonna worry too much about it. But plan is to basically, uh, from where this fence line is to about right back there, uh, we're gonna be building a 25 by 35 uh, sized unit. Now, as you can see that street back there, I have full access to come in through here and access my shop when that time comes. Uh, we're gonna change the elevation of this property, uh, raise the elevation up right here, and then uh, I'm gonna see what I could do because my property actually ends where the grading is over there. And all of that over there is just basically unincorporated land. My goal, if I can, is to buy that little section of land and make a driveway out of that and then add it to right here so we can have a full uh, entrance from the back road to my shop. And then also, um, well, the pool's there now, but eventually we'll probably have to drive around back and then drive into the shop, which will be right here. So that's the plan for it. Um, I know it sounds absolutely crazy, but uh, that's what I'm planning on doing for it. And actually, uh, we're gonna be having Ryan from Ryan Grade come back out and uh, clear up this little section of brush as well. Uh, we just didn't wanna interrupt the privacy from our neighbors to our side because our privacy fence ends right over there. Eventually, uh, we're planning on doing a full vinyl fence, getting rid of this chain link, getting rid of the wood, and doing full vinyl all the way around and to the front but that's basically it guys uh i'm pretty excited about that i want to get like i said a 25 by 35 shop and it'll be slightly bigger than what we used to have but it'll be more than enough space to work on my miatas work on future projects break down motorcycles and create more and better content for you guys so um hope you're excited about that because i am but like i said that's going to be in the future don't know if it's going to be a year from now six months from now two years from now just whenever the funds come in uh it's not going to be cheap it's definitely going to be it's going to be a big big project uh, like i said got to bring in a bunch of fill dirt high quality fill dirt because we don't want the foundation of the shop going under um, and then lay down a concrete slab, and then we have a company that's gonna be doing the full building. Uh, the building alone is probably gonna cost around 10 to 12,000, and then that doesn't include the concrete or the dirt. I'll tell you what, I never in my whole life thought that I would be paying for dirt, but here we are, gonna be paying for dirt. Anyway guys, I'm in direct sunlight, I'm wearing all black. Let's get back into the garage. Alrighty guys, had to get out of that heat. It is too damn hot to be out there right now in all black. It is the middle of summer in Florida, and boy, I am sweating pounds by the minute. But uh, let me take a minute here to just have a heart to heart with you guys. Um, so first off, I just wanna say for everyone that was a subscriber last year before I decided to take a break from YouTube and you guys have actually stuck around, sincerely from the bottom of my heart, Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. I have seen the comments that have, people have dropped just saying that they miss me or they miss seeing the videos and uh, I really do appreciate that. It actually gives me a drive to keep doing this. And uh, when I left YouTube last year, I left you guys with about 2,000 subscribers and I didn't think this channel would continue to grow without me being here. But since I've left, we are now about to hit 5,000 subscribers and guys, I mean, it's not a hundred thousand subscriber, but you know what I mean? That's huge to me. So for 
almost all 5,000 of you. Thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart that you guys are here and I really do appreciate you guys. And uh, like I said, it it's, it's absolutely amazing. It blows my mind to have 5,000 people that actually enjoy watching these videos. Now, um, like I said, guys, this whole shop that I'm trying to build in my backyard, this is not gonna be an easy feat. It's gonna cost a lot of money and it's gonna take a lot of time. So if you guys wanna support this in any way, I can give you guys a couple ways to do it free of charge. One, hit that subscribe button. It really helps. Two, drop a comment, whether it's a dumb, stupid, funny, whatever comment, just drop it in the comment section. Comments help the videos grow in the algorithm. I, I, don't, know, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's, it's uh, it's something foreign to me, but it, it does something for the videos and the algorithm. So just drop a comment in the comment section. It really does help. Now, YouTube also has this thing called Super Thanks, uh, where basically you could just donate to the channel. So if you guys want to donate to the shop, every single dollar that I receive from YouTube will be going to my savings for that shop build. And as always, if you guys do just need parts for your SV650 or SV1000, you guys know where to go motopartsource.com, your online source for high quality used parts for your first and second generation Suzuki SV650 or SV1000. Now, um, I really don't have much more to say. I'm in here sweating bullets, but I'm gonna be getting back to making YouTube videos for you guys, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am because I kinda missed YouTube and I've definitely missed you guys. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video and listening to me rant on. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are excited and stoked for the upcoming content to come. So until the next time, I'll see you then. Peace.